I thought, you know, waste the time getting to the stores, things like that. But then when you try it, it's, it very much is enjoyable. Some members will even go as far to say that it is therapeutic. It can yeah. be quite relaxing. It's exhilarating, really. Yeah. Right? You, you find that product, you find that profit, it pops yeah. up on sale and sell. It's rewarding, it's just, isn't it? It's like, oh my goodness, right, I can find this everywhere else. Exactly. <laughs> Welcome back to another Seller Circle podcast. We're here today with Rachie and Ash, hey. members from the Seller Circle Discord. What you will notice is this is actually Rachie behind Rachie face Hello. and Ash, Rachie's <laughs> partner. Uh, and you both use the same Discord account, don't you? So, you know, yeah. sometimes when you're speaking to Rachie face, not actually Rachie on the end of it. It could be Ash not. replying yeah. to you as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, how long have you been in Seller Circle for so far? Um, I think we're approaching a month. A month, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. a month. You just been in there that long. No. What we've no. done today and the sort of experience and knowledge you've got is way past what I would expect someone who's been in there a month. So fair play. Have you done any research elsewhere? Have you watched many YouTube videos or have you mostly just been in Seller Circle? How have you sort of got your knowledge? Um, we did it through a YouTube video. Uh -huh. um, we just found somebody saying that, you know, they use Seller Circle, uh, they use CCN, and we just take it, took it from there. We had uh -huh. a Discord already set up, so... So you started in CCN, yeah. didn't you? So yes, just tell did. us, if anyone doesn't know Crep Chief, uh, tell us a little bit about CCN and sort of what your experience was like in there, because you've been in CCN a bit longer than Seller Circle, yeah. haven't you? Two we usually t Let's take it back to the start. So give us a bit about CCN, what you've done in there air fryers all of that oh. and uh we'll take it from air there. fryers what can you not say about air fryers <laughs> uh they sell very well uh, as well as P playstation 5s and it's just been an absolute wild craze hasn't it ash you, yeah. you just a wild ride yeah selling Absolutely. playstations air fryers it's just whatever you can yeah. get hands whatever's on. Whatever's popping at the time. Yeah, and, yeah. and the fact that you've got the Discord pinging you constantly with your notifications on your iPhone or, or your Androids or whatever you've got, you're always in the know, which yeah. is very, very helpful and useful to have. Um, but, yeah, that's been really, really helpful. We've been able to buy loads. We've still got about, I'd say, about three more PlayStation 5s. We've got... Yeah. About four air fryers left. A couple Think. more left to get out yeah. of the door, yeah. And we're also looking out for other things that we could actually potentially sell uh, because we do like to help the Discord channel where we can, don't we? Yeah. yeah. And we're always talking to Alex and Harry and who's the other one? Mateo. Mateo. That, that's CCN. You mix in CCN. Oh, we, sorry. Yeah, I am. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about sorry. it. Sorry. Sorry. The two, kiss the two are so, you know, we they're owned. We you know. use together. Yeah, yeah you're we do. Using we do. Them together. They're, literally, they're all on Discord, so you use them all the time. And You're the same notifications there. coming yeah. through, yeah. I see, I see. And have you used some of the sort of capital that you've built up from CCN to go into Seller Circle? Yeah. We've... Um, because CCNs, it's your high ROI products. Your quick flips, yeah. Your quick flips. So you're making £100 plus, really, on some items. Uh -huh. Especially um, on those air fryers. Yeah. We use that capital to then put into Amazon. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, okay. we're constantly reinvesting it back into the business. Yeah. Always. I think that's the best thing to do for a lot of people, isn't it? Have you thought about taking any money out later down the line or what, what's your, I suppose, I'll ask that question towards the end. I keep sidetracking. <laughs> Let's keep to the very start. So when you yeah. started, you saw Seller Circle within the CCN Discord, advertised in there, talking about it in there, and you moved over and you joined Seller Circle straight out of the gate. We won't be offended. What did you think of Seller Circle and Amazon in general in just your first couple of days? Do you think it was sort of overwhelming or was it was it all fine? Or? It was a minefield, but the user guys really helped. Uh -huh. It was nice to have the videos already there, like the walkthrough yeah. of how to set up your Amazon business. Gosh, that was absolutely wonderful to have to hand because it's a nightmare. yeah it is absolute yeah. nightmare especially the VAT exemption when yes. you're just starting out I wish it was just a tick box it should just be a tick yeah, box should they do. shouldn't even do it you shouldn't even have to well, do it well it is a tick box in the seller's um, seller's toolkit yeah, yeah you know you just have to put your exemption date that you had and then it will tell you everything that is VAT exempt and it will put it down to your zero and it will do straight away yeah. 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 yeah I mean like when you first join Amazon if you think about like if you if you said like to anybody, I'm going to start selling on Amazon, everyone automatically thinks I'm going to be ordering lorries full yeah. of items. Mm -hmm. 
and they're thinking like, I can't I, do it. I'm, I'm in a flat. It, yeah. Like you know, so, I've not got a warehouse. I yeah. can't do it. But it's not the case, is it? No. As, as you guys have learned. So once you got your account set up, um, did you first start with some online leads and then go and do some retail arbitrage? Because I know you focus a little bit more on retail arbitrage. Would that be fair to say? Would you say it's more fifty-fifty or? I think more retail arbitrage. More, because more retail it's more than fun online. Into, it allows you to be able to do the retail side of it, um, the retail arbitrage, because he goes up and down daily with his job because you've got a nine to five job haven't you um, uh -huh. yeah and you're traveling about here and there yeah, traveling so. up everywhere in the country and it's just like oh just pop into sainsbury's or yeah. something on the way to site here there and yeah, everywhere get me lunch yeah. or something and it's like oh just scan a few items nice. bag a few and it's paid for me lunch <laughs> nice yeah true 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 i think what we were saying with with you guys is a lot of products that you found you've gone out and actually found yourselves yeah. and you're continuously selling those products i mean any, any anyone watching this you'll be able to check out the youtube video that we filmed today we've just got yep. back from that yep. uh, and we collected around 200 pound profit didn't we and that yeah. was all stuff that you put in your boot and brought and you're going to take home and actually send into your Amazon store as well, yep. which is fantastic. But that's, that's what we've been doing today. And we brought some products that you will continuously sell. Not all of them, uh, you know, we spoke about because some of them are, you know, those lower sellers that everyone can access. And obviously we don't want everyone just to jump on those products that you've no. worked hard to find. But we did show one of them. It was the descalers, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And those sold something silly. How many times a month did they sell? Was it 12,000? 12,000. 12,000 12, units. Units a month these descalers yes. sold. Um, do you want to, in fact, you two, do you want to tell us a story about the descalers? How you come across them, sort of, you know, how it works with scanning them? It was already a lead, wasn't it? I think it was a I'm lead sure on the seller circle. Oh, you saw it as a lead first? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, I believe yeah. so. And um, so, what I did, just like get a scanner. From uh -huh. Sainsbury's like the, and that's card. the like scan to shop thing, yeah, yeah. isn't yeah, it? The yeah, yeah. Scan I'd shop. never seen them before until yeah. I went in there with us guys to today. Al always get one because it's like today we went and they marked uh -huh. up as a twelve pound. Yeah, but you could just scan, scan it. it, and it's actually like a hidden deal. Yeah, so and it no was four pound, be, wasn't it? Was yeah, it four, four pound? pound? Yeah, yeah it's, four it's crazy. So these these coffee descalers, it must be like a, they were like little tablets, weren't they? And they yeah. just descale your coffee pack machine. A, pack of twelve. Yeah, yeah, pack of twelve, and uh, they was about I think it was eleven, wasn't there, on the shelf? Yeah, and they were coming up as twelve pound. That's what they said. That's what the ticket said. So any normal person would scan that, see twelve pound. It doesn't work on seller amp and carry on. But because we had the scanner, we just instantly thought, you know what? Let's try scanning them on there. Especially Actually, that's probably what you did when you first saw that they were a lead in Seller Circle yep. and realised that they actually scanned through for £4 and the ticket says £12, which in some ways is why, you know, there is a lot of profit out there. Sometimes yep. there yep. are these price errors. No doubt that is a price error. How long that will last for, I don't know. But like you were saying, when you go up and down the country, you'll always visit a Sainsbury's, won't you? Yep. And, and collect as many as you can. You just go um, in literally to buy that product. Just to buy that. And then if you, it's like anything with, um, anything which you previously brought, yeah. you just go back to that spot, and see if have a quick look, again. because then you could be in and out of a shop yeah, in Yeah, it's time 10, saving, isn't it? 10, if you know what you're minutes. going for. Yeah. Yeah. But always try and pick up a scanner because obviously then it saves you, you going to the, the till prices. Yeah, with and a that, basket yeah. full of them and going, ah, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here then? <laughs> and the and it is very much store dependent, like yeah, we found course. with your um, thermal. Flash yes, or those thermos flasks that we're looking at, we're saying that it is very store dependent. Some stores you'll walk into and they'll have five of them at, a f um, I think they were £10, weren't they? I think they were yeah. £10. Um, at, you know, £10, but the one that we went to today, they were £18. So it depends on the store, obviously. With those descalers, do they all score, all stores that they scan through as £4 that you've been in so far? So far that what we've been in, yes. I think so. I've been to probably about six or seven different Sainsbury's and just must be a proper price error that you know yeah let's hope no one here from science take, is take, watching. A, take advantage don't of it while she can <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like you said because they sell you know twelve thousand times a month that's uh, what's that work out to probably 400 ish times a day mm. it doesn't matter they clear that, <laughs> they're gonna yeah, clear yeah. out in a heartbeat yeah. so you know if you can go to a few different sainsbury's and uh you know buy buy a decent amount of those like we brought 11 today and yep. they are what was the profit per unit on them 13.99 uh-huh and that's about five pound five pound profit per Sponsor. unit yeah, yeah. So, you know you walk into a store you find 10 of them and you've got 50 pound right there and then 
that is your seller circle membership paid for for the month just through one product yeah. and that lead was in the seller circle discord it's nothing yeah. you know there's no yeah. rocket science behind this no secret methods no. no secret blueprints it is just follow what we tell you to buy yeah. Yeah. so yeah fantastic that sounds really good and then moving on from there you've you've dabbled in sort of finding some of your own leads while you've been out in the stores Mo- most people tend to sort of migrate into doing that along with following you know the online leads and then the in-store leads i think a lot of people go out and they'll try and find those in-store leads and they'll think oh you know what let's scan this let's scan that let's scan this just as we do in the YouTube videos. I mean, there's no point going to Sainsbury's just for, you know, three or four leads that were most recently in there. If you've gone there and you're picking up those leads, then why not look for some other stuff as well? I think that's kind yeah. of like a no-brainer, really. Yeah. Um, so is that sort of how you started looking for your own leads, is it? Um, give us a little bit more information about that. Yeah, uh, well, we've always headed to the clearance sections, whatever store we go to, because that's obviously where you're going to find your bargains. Yes. Uh, we have more luck in Sainsbury's, Tesco's, um, yeah, because you guys like hadn't had much experience with B&M and Home Bargains, had you? No. Which is where we'd done quite a lot. Maybe there's more of them by us, less by you. Maybe they're better by us, worse by you. I don't know. I think it's just more of a time constraint as well. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. if you're going in and there's a minefield and a menagerie yeah. of products. It was today, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, and you've got so many people around you, hounding you, wondering why you've got a scanner out. It can yeah. get a little bit embarrassing. Why are you and taking I'm still photos of get... every single product? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's yes. like, you're not just doing it for your daughter yeah. anymore or your son. Um, um, but no, if you haven't got the time, then, you know, it is kind of pointless. But when you find that lead, it's like the golden ticket. Yeah, because you it know does that feel you good, can, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can go back and you can find other stores, um, other B&Ms, other home bargains. Yeah. And the you same know you've got day if you want it. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. And just, go. Like, just stick to one store, find some products in there, get all them products from the next store and keep moving on. It's exactly what you guys do along with finding those new products. So I think you really are growing your business in such a great way. So a lot of those products today that we bought were new products for you as well. If they sell well for you and you continue making money on them, no doubt you'll go back out and buy more of them. And that's sort of... I mean, it's something you talk about with wholesale, really building a product portfolio, but it is something you can do with retail and online arbitrage as well. It's something you can keep. There are products that you can keep buying, keep going back to and build up. At least we were talking about, yes, you know, you may be able to hit those real high numbers each and every month, but you know that you're going to have at least a sort of baseline level. Even if you lose sort of half your main products, you'll know you're still getting that baseline level, which is so important for people at the moment. Um, I I think with... with, uh, yourselves obviously you're both very busy you're working full-time jobs I think what I've learned from you two today you've got a few different tips and tricks on how to really be efficient with your time when you're scanning stuff so you know I was in there obviously we've got all the time in the world scan 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 yeah when you guys were like I would I wouldn't have scanned that I would scan this I wouldn't scan that for specific reasons so a little trick that you guys said was actually look at the RRP on there and look at the percentage off look how much money's come off it's only two or three pound off sometimes yes they will make money sometimes stuff with no discount on will make money yes but you're more likely if you're going to scan up 100 products you're more likely you'd be better to choose 100 products that have a higher discount rate so if they're 50 percent off you'd rather choose 50 percent off products and choose 100 of those you're more likely to find profitable products to sell on amazon within those 100 aren't you and that that's one of the little ticks at tip and trick that you had for us today which i thought was good i mean i I thought about that a little bit before but sort of then when you look at it in detail and you see it working it really does make complete sense doesn't it how's your amazon been going now what 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 figures what numbers are we looking at right now give us a little bit of a rundown on your on you're your the numbers guy the numbers <laughs> man and give us a rundown on sort of your your sales in the last 30 days what sort of numbers are we looking at um the last 30 days i think we've gone over 5,000. i think it was 5,000, nearly 300 290 uh-huh. odd and that's so. remember your first 30 days each yeah. maybe just slightly over 30 days now yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, that was the whole November, really, wasn't it? Yeah, because yeah. that was our most productive time, because up until that point, we was just 
sending everything in. Yes. Which yeah, obviously exactly. then we weren't going to get anything until the we're, products were arriving and, and yeah. become active. That's what we we're talking about earlier. It, it's not like CCM where I know you mentioned you brought an air fryer from Costco and sold it before you were even home. Like, yeah. fantastic. But with Amazon, it is a more of a longer term investment. It's a little bit yeah. slower to get everything up and going. And there's that delay, not only for Amazon to pay you, but for the stock to arrive too, especially in Q4. Some of the stuff you're sending in, like the stuff you're sending in now, I doubt it that's going to get there for Christmas. It's probably going to be slightly after Christmas yeah. and going into January now. But that is just Amazon. It doesn't mean you can't make money from it. It's no. just you've got to be more patient and look at it from more of a adult's perspective in a way. Stop looking for that fast cash. That fast no. cash is great. If you can do yeah. both, then fantastic. But I think Amazon gives you a bit the ability to build that longer term, more stable Absolutely. Income. You've got to definitely look at the bigger picture because at the end of the day, that's what you want to do. You want to change your lifestyle. Exactly. Um, so with that, unfortunately, comes patience and time. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. But, you know, patience is a virtue and I think it, it does help people out. Um, you guys have said it sort of helped you out with just just not feeling so guilty for putting the heating on and yeah. you know only, only for an hour <laughs> <laughs> or half an hour or an hour on a sorry, Friday sorry, maybe but <laughs> <laughs> just helping out with sort of you know those bills not that you know everyone struggles that much obviously everyone is in a different situation and obviously it's a super touchy subject or everything that's going on now but at the end of the day there's no doubt about it that things are getting more expensive yeah, we're all in a crisis exactly that everything is becoming more expensive no one's wage and pay are going up the same amount no, so no. I don't care what money you're earning what position in life you are where you live I don't care about any of that everyone is going to be struggling more this year than they were last year let's Absolutely. be honest in financially in most cases so you guys have sort of just been using Amazon as a bit of vague sort of baseline like just, just yeah just yeah, like a absolutely. buffer you said you, you've recently moved into a new house haven't you which is yeah. fantastic congratulations yeah. you got you. a young son as well yeah you've got a lot to do um so yeah i think it, i think it's great for you guys to have sort of just that additional income whether you use it or not whether you take the money out of the business or not even if you just keep growing that money that's in the business like you said and keep yeah. reinvesting it you know in theory the business is making that much money each month and if you do need it because this happens that happens you have an unexpected bill here there or whatever it is you don't feel as guilty for paying it or you know you, you can go out for a meal here and there and not feel as bad about it because you put the time in and you've worked for it at the end yeah. of the day it means that we can put more than 20 pound into the rainy day fund exactly <laughs> exactly yeah exactly which is obviously fantastic i mean each person will do different things with it some people yeah. will start amazon you know so they can have a nicer car some people do it just as a sort of investment and that business bank account will just become a little bit of an investment for them they'll put their 500 pound in their thousand pound in and just see where they can take it to and that's yeah. fine some people do it uh you know and, and take it to a full-time level i know you were talking about maybe like distantly in the future i suppose that was more like an early retirement i suppose wasn't it? but <laughs> it would be nice. you know it, 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 you guys do enjoy doing online and retail arbitrage don't you so yeah, it's we really do it's it's really good to hear the other thing that i wanted to speak to you about was obviously you're both very busy you've got a family you've got a house to look after you've got full-time jobs and three how, dogs and three dogs <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you feel how do you find it doing amazon around those do you, do you how do you cope with that do you have any tips for anyone because i know most people within seller circle they're all in nine to fives and some of our prospective members who who haven't joined us yet may think oh, you know, this sounds really complicated. I've got to go here, there, I've got to do this. It, am I going to have time for it? You guys are the perfect people to answer that question. So, fire away. Well, I suppose that you, everyone goes grocery shopping, whether you're doing it online, whether you're going in store, um, whether you have to fill, you definitely have to fill your car up. Obviously, most petrol stations are owned by a Sainsbury's, Asda, say, you know, uh, Tesco's, and just pop in and yeah. just take a leap of faith and try one of these leads and then if it works for you great you know build on that you don't have to start big but i suppose that's no, you just could, how you could we... start with just paying yeah. for one lead send it in mm -hmm. and see the profit come back out and prove it to yourself well, like you could really start with like everyone needs a bit of proof. Pound if you wanted to if if you just literally if you brought 10 of them tablet the descaler tablets yeah you've turned that 40 quid in to 90 quid, yep. like five pound profit each. It's easy as that. I um, know, I know you've got to pay for your, uh, so. exactly, I know you've got to pay for your Amazon membership. You've got to pay for your seller circle, I understand that. Yeah. 
But aside from that, just proving that proof concept that it does actually work. I think a lot of people don't even, they'll sit back and they'll think, nah, too good to be true, too good to be true. But I, I kind of like the fact with Amazon that it's not, like, you know, I, we don't just hand you that money on a plate each no. week. You go out and you use your own initiative to find your own lead. You'll follow what's in Seller Circle. Your most important, your last questions you were talking about, hiring the support staff, you'll, you'll, you'll speak to him, you'll, you'll speak to the rest of the support staff, find out more and learn more. You're putting the work in. So it's, it's a reward. You're getting out what you're putting in. And I think that's a key point for everyone to take home from this. You guys are very ahead of the normal of the of the normal curve of yeah. learning through Amazon. Yeah. Most members who have been with us for a month would not have the knowledge that you guys have. But you guys haven't done anything particularly different. You've just put more time into it and more work into yeah. it. I'm just I mean, dedicated to it. Exactly. Yeah. Which, what's the point? But around your full time commitments yeah. as well. Big side driving up and down the country. Uh, I've got plenty of time on my hands. Mm -hmm. So I just Breaks put like and things. Yeah, I you just put YouTube break. on and I could listen to I've listened to most of the CCM videos. I've listened to most of the Seller Circle videos. I've watched all You'll the love these podcasts coming out. Yeah. Side, <laughs> side hustle podcasts and stuff like that. I've like yeah. literally just put them on in the car and it's just extra knowledge, isn't it? And yeah. you're gonna be sitting in that car driving anyway. Yeah, so rather than just listen to music or, you know, whatever. Listen to something that's going to gain you a little bit of knowledge and you can learn. And I think that's sort of what we want to do in a way with this podcast and have people like yourselves, obviously our members on, but also have people, uh, you know, like our lead providers, have, you know, me and Milo, have all sorts of different people on here yeah. who can provide extra information and actually bring knowledge to people for free through, through the YouTube channel in the form of a podcast as well as the YouTube videos too. I think that's going to be something that we want to do yeah. in the future moving on. But obviously, you're going to be the third podcast now. We've had Oliver, we've had Sadler, yeah. and we've had you guys. There's no popularity rankings there, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're pretty high up. <laughs> <laughs> but what we said, potentially in the new year or near a Christmas week, could come and visit you and yeah. do some uh, retail arbitrage near where you guys are just to, you know, get me out of Manchester for a while. Shake yeah. But also, a yeah, sh show people what it's like elsewhere in the UK. I'm sure some people out there will be like, no, this only works in Manchester. We <laughs> want to show people, you know, the, yeah. the works and that you can do it sort of out elsewhere as well. What are your thoughts for sort of moving Amazon up? What, what, what do you want to do with Amazon in the future? What, what are your sort of plans for it? What are your aspirations do you, you know, do you want to outsource it? Do you want to put more time into it? Where do you want to take it? Well, like we say, ideally, in the near distance future, we would like uh, my partner to be able to give up work and to actually take this on full time. Near future. <laughs> near future, like, well, you could take that as it, a it'll year. Be it'll be nice. It'd be nice to have the goal as you not working any more, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to... You, you do it at your house, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. We, want, we want to... I think we should have, like... We should have done the wholesale mentorship uh -huh. and have a regular regular items through yes. the wholesale mentorship and stuff. So you've got a consistent income. So you've got a consistent yeah. At least thing. built up before yeah. you even think about getting close to making that jump. I mean, yeah. we don't want yeah. to say to people, yeah, no, no, match no. your wage for the first month. <laughs> yeah, so I, turn our yeah. We don't <laughs> want that, obviously. We, I think um, once we get that, we've said like we'll, like every month we'll have a weekend where we choose some different city in the yeah. UK and we'll go out and just retail arbitrage. Do some retail arbitrage there. <laughs> but it's exactly what you've done here. Obviously, yeah. you've come up to meet all of us and it's been fantastic. We've been out some lunch today. It's been yeah. great to meet yeah, you and just, been, yeah. just meet you as people anyway, but also talk about Seller Circle, talk about Amazon, talk about what you've done. Obviously, it's one I love and you guys have a passion for it too. It's been great to do. But I think even in the future, just, just having that sort of safety net, uh, you know, like you said, you're doing up your house, you've got your son you've got your dogs you've got so much going on in your lives yeah. i think having that little bit of a safety net and just a little bit of an extra income just make your lives even that one percent better or that one percent easier or that one percent st more stress-free yeah. yeah even can help out a lot can't it which yeah. is great absolutely right. it makes you feel less guilty about the things that you actually want well actually need to buy as well as want to buy. yeah exactly yeah. that that can be half of it for a lot of people can't it yeah, yeah. It's, it's not like you're doing a lot of manual work is it either it's it's 
until you start wholesale, yeah, then it gets well, very manual. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's fairly simple to, yeah. for anyone to really start. Is you just got to have a bit of knowledge to do it. And you yeah, know, but you can. It's not like that knowledge is hard to find. Yeah, you've it's, just got to join Seller Circle, yeah, and it's use all the manual. there for Absolutely, you. Absolutely, the Bible. What do you, you call it? Yeah, you call, call it the, the Bible, user manual yeah. the Bible day. <laughs> Oliver, who come on uh, our podcast as well, said the user manual is literally the Bible, which is fantastic there to hear are. because <laughs> I was the person who wrote that. It's oh, great to okay. hear that, it, uh, you know, people do refer to it as the Bible. But I think stuff like that we're only going to improve on as well. And it's only we're only going to be able to make the process of signing up, getting started, getting products in simpler, more tutorials, more weekly calls, more education. That's our only sort of, what we want to do, just make Seller Circle even better in the future, not just the leads, but then focus on the support, make the support better. We're always bringing in new support staff, thinking what we can do. We've got so many plans for 2023. I think people will really, you know, we, we the, the ideal aim for us is to, you know, people see that 49.99 going out of their bank each month and think, blimey, for the amount I get from that Discord, that is nothing. That's yeah. what we want to do. Obviously, hopefully, it's already like that now. For example, that lead that we sent in today, you know, you've, you've paid for your membership. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably four, four times, times over yeah. just this afternoon. Yeah. Um, you know, which sounds crazy to say. You may not believe me. Watch the YouTube video. And, uh, <laughs> you, you two can vouch, you know, we're not paying you to sit Absolutely. here or anything like that. You've done this off your own accord. You've done this off your own back. You've come up and you wanted to come up and, and yeah, meet us. Yeah, we pay for the hotel. Exactly. <laughs> and and uh, I just feel bad now. Do some, no, 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 don't do that. And do some retail arbitrage with us. But it, you, can ha you can make it that little bit more exciting, can't you? Like you have. You come up last night, had a hotel, went for some drinks. Explore it's Manchester. what you make of it, isn't it, really? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Some people are like, oh, no, nah, I don't want to go out to the stores. I don't want to do this. I think sometimes a lot of people just kind of put their pride to the side and just yeah. go out and do it. Give it a try. You'll probably enjoy it. I used to slate retail online arbitrage when I was doing <laughs> wholesale before I started teaching anything. And, and I thought, you know, waste the time going to the stores things like that but then when you try it it's, it very much is enjoyable some members will even go as far to say that it is therapeutic it can yeah. be quite relaxing it's exhilarating really. yeah <laughs> you, you find that product you find that profit it pops yeah. up on sellers it's, up it's rewarding it's, just, isn't it's it? like oh my goodness right i can find this everywhere else. exactly because <laughs> it's it's not the easiest thing to do to you know drive out and then scan and scan and scan and you might not find something for a while but at the end of the day you've only probably got to find one or two things and that's sort of your petrol paid for at least and then yeah. You find anything else on top of that and you're you're away then. You're 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 covering your membership and then you're working towards that profit every single month, which is also fantastic. Yeah. Well it's like if we saw that product which got reduced from thirty eight ninety nine to a pound. Yes. If if we add some of them, yeah, that you'd be you'd, well away. Yeah. That's so that was in Sainsbury's, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was in Sainsbury's. And like, I don't think you could find that sort of deal. But it might online. be in another Sainsbury's. They might have reduced be. it. Yeah. As, as low we should have gone to more. We should have gone to another yeah. Sainsbury's. No we doubt. took a scanner and then... Um, <laughs> can, can we honestly, hand on heart, say, are you two going to drive home now? and not stop at any other stores. It's a long drive, so we might have to stop. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's, there's always coffee breaks needed to be had. It would be fantastic. <laughs> you, should, you should try and see if you can stop at the Sainsbury's on the way back. Film a little video on your phone, yeah. send it to us, and we'll throw it in the YouTube video. And just show that you don't need us. You know, no, you can no. go out, do it, and scan stuff by yourself. That would well, be we've been doing it into, uh, by ourselves until we got here, didn't we? Exactly. So, exactly. You know, it proves that it does work. And obviously, with Seller Circle as a sort of backbone to help you get started and give you that support along the way and provide you with leads. Apart from that, and be honest here, how have you found it? Have you found it hard? Have you found it a challenge? Be honest as well. If you found it challenging, that's fine. But you know, let us know. How have you found it so far? Um, after you've read the manuals or the Bible, um, <laughs> everything just pretty much came into place. Uh -huh. You followed it word for word, um, did exactly what it was supposed to do, and you reaped the rewards. You know, everything just went smoothly, a lot more smoothly than if I would have tried to do it on myself yeah. or ourselves. Uh -huh. Yeah, just it, we were saying earlier about the YouTube video about sent, like just sending a shipment in. Yeah. You literally do so much, press pause, do it to your like, own stock. Yeah. Go back, press play, 
yeah. so long, press pause and keep doing it. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's, it's simple. I think we want to move a lot of those guides. We'll still have the text guides, but we'll have a video version as well because people learn in different ways. Some people just want to read it. For me, I'm more of just, I'll just read it. I can't be bombed with a video. <laughs> but some people prefer to listen to someone, see someone and see yeah. someone actually doing it. So throughout the start of next year in Q1, that's what we'll sort of be looking to do, convert all of those guides into videos as well and sort of make life easier for people. Yeah. Yeah. I know one of the main sticking points for people is actually Seller Central because it's not, it's not like, you know, just navigating YouTube. It's not the easiest thing to do. No. Mm. Amazon is very awkward with a lot of things they don't let you do some stuff for absolutely no reason at all and they'll make you do some things for no reason at all too so how do you find seller central i guess that was more of just a learning curve for you i, I guess so it's just the support it could definitely like you say really improve uh for sellers Amazon support that is not seller circle oh, so, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seller central support is it's terrible just, yes. frustratingly terrible we were having the conversation earlier weren't we where yeah. you can message them you can live chat them and they'll come back to you with a template response oh the scripted answers yeah and, very and scripted answers it does not answer your problem it doesn't solve it so then you have to go elsewhere but but if you just open a ticket these guys really do help. Yeah, and <laughs> and we try to help as much as we can, but there'll be there'll be some things that are uh, an issue with your specific Amazon account that we can't help with. I no. wish we could. We should probably get an employee here on yeah. behalf of Amazon so we can help people who make yeah. lives a hell of a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, breach confidentiality in order to do it, but All nobody of that, else knows yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> but it would. You should have sort of like an account manager or something like that where you can just, you know, speak to them and bring them up because you're paying a lot in fees, no oh, doubt. Yeah. You know, I dread to think how many hundreds of thousands of pounds I've paid in fees to Amazon, uh, you know, for, to just get templated scripted responses back yes. but that's the way it is that's what it's like there's there's only one way to get around it and that's persistence keep trying it's not the easiest thing they do make it awkward they do make it hard and as soon as you think you're through and you've got it they'll send you an email saying nope <laughs> the same template email you've got loads of time the one thing with ungates that we were talking about earlier is sometimes um you know you just need to keep submitting it i was telling you yeah. about one yeah. that i did yeah. earlier and i said when I used to ungate stuff, when when I first started Amazon, there was a, there was a product that I was trying to ungate. I can't. It must have been like a pet pet care or something like that. I can't remember to be honest with you. Um, and I sent in the ungate photos of the product because it always used to be photos of the product and an invoice. Mm -hmm. Sent it in, disapproved. So I thought, you know what? I don't. I've, I'd had it before and it had been disapproved. And yeah. then eventually they approved it. So I sent that in nine more times, and on the tenth time. They approved it. And each time, I didn't change a single thing. Same photos, same invoice. So with ungating, you know, you've got to be persistent. It's, it's very annoying. It wastes it everyone's time. <laughs> but sometimes you just, people will say to us, and it's, it's not, people aren't used to hearing that either. Oh, yeah, just submit the same thing to this huge company. <laughs> and somehow they will just eventually accept it. That's not the norm, but yeah. that's no. how it works. You're that's hoping that you get the other person that will just say yes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You will get a different sort of customer service rep for Amazon on the end who will either go yes or no, or well, more often no, less often yes. yes. But yes. <laughs> eventually, they do just click yes, whether they get bored of us, keep sending them in, or whether they just realise what we're sending is, is actually legitimate and correct. And actually read it. And <laughs> actually read it, they will say yes, and you can get through. I think a lot of it, is persistent but we're going to end off this podcast around about here i've got some wholesale calls to be doing after this which hopefully you guys will be joining very very soon in yes. the near future into next year at some point and i look forward to yes. sort of helping you guys out with that i think it'd be great if we do come see you do some ra with you guys and then also get you back on a podcast i'd love to get you back on a podcast in a year's time now a yes. final parting question this is what i said to oliver if you come back i uh, on a podcast in a year's time, so coming up to Christmas next year, what will you be telling me? What what will your current situation be? What will you be looking at with your sort of Amazon numbers? Where would you like to be? What would you like to be making a month from Amazon? What would you like to be doing in sales? Would you like to have dabbled in wholesale or not yet? More OA, more RA? Let me know. I think the RA is definitely here to stay. Yeah. We love it, don't we? Yeah, it's It fun. gets us out. <laughs> 
Um, our eight-year-old don't really like it, but we just, um, he loves Nintendo Switch. We put him in a trolley and, you know, he goes around with us for as long as his boredom threshold will hold out. <laughs> we, we let him do that. Um, and then, yeah, we just really love doing it. It gets us out. We get to, you know, buy our groceries. At, you know, that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. Um, which everyone has to do. So it's so easy, it's so versatile of a process to do. So uh -huh. you might as well, you know, pick up a scanner whilst you're there scan your products, uh, get your, prod uh, your profit. But I think in a year's time, and I can't really speak for both of us, but I know that we did have like a little £300 night, uh, a week goal, did we, something like that? Uh, or? I, we, I like making ridiculous like numbers up and seeing if we can <laughs> Unrealistic hit them. ones. It's the only way to get near them. So, well, yeah. you know like, what I mean? <laughs> for Christmas, the end of this year, I says that we'll try 12,000, uh -huh. which I don't think we'll let... We're not in sales per it, month, yeah, yeah. No, in sale, just in sales total. Okay, okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, that's fine. Well, you you got to think you were Q4. You've started the yeah. hardest time to get started because everything's so slow. slow. That's fine. That's not due to you not putting the effort in. That's yeah. due to how long it takes for Amazon to receive stock, yes. get your account Process set up at the moment. Well, yeah. But yeah, well, I think probably next year I'll think hundred thousand sales. A hundred thousand sales. I reckon so. Wow. Oh, that's so hard work. Go, I, I that's think, hard work, but I reckon you could do that. I think with what you've <laughs> shown, you've done. Wow. <laughs> Get the holiday booked. I yes. think with with what what the knowledge you've shown so far, and the amount of time, and sort of what you know already for such a short amount of time, I think if you come back next year. And you've done less than 150k in total sales. I would probably be like, I'm surprised. Yeah. 150. You got to think. I honestly, I honestly um, would. That's yeah. just me saying we, it. We I says honestly like would. beginning of last month, I made up that ridiculous 12,000. Yeah, you did. And we're. But it's not ridiculous. I that know, honestly when, is when ridiculous. When you just say it, <laughs> yeah, you're like, it sounds oh, when you, no when way we're going to do this. Of and it, this is all yeah. in sales we're talking here. Yeah, obviously not, not profit. profit. We won't no, be sitting no. here talking about it if it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I think we're at 6,500 now, uh -huh. and we've still got three weeks to go nice. till yeah. the end of this year, haven't we? Depends how much stuck you've got, or probably already on the way in, really, yeah, is what you're looking at there. Four shipments on the way in uh -huh. yeah. and we've still got like like i said earlier we've got 110 items on our store killing it yeah. killing it that's fantastic to see well let's end this off here and like i said let's come back in yeah. a year's time yep and as long as you two have to do so yeah <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you can do another podcast and we'll have a chat but hopefully say it to the camera now you'll have at least 100 grand in sales in total yeah Go we on. will easy 100 grand in sales. I will be disappointed. I'm the internal optimist. I'm, I'm the realistic person here, but I, I, I do like his zaniness, like I say. I'll be disappointed in you both if you haven't done that. I think it's easy to achieve both of what I you've done. I think so. Well, there you go. You've heard it. 8,000 a month, roughly. Really? Easy. Wow. Yeah. Easy. That makes it sound better. Uh, easy. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming up, guys. Yeah, really you appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you for filming the YouTube it. video for us as well. Yeah. Really yep. appreciate that. And yeah, we'll come visit you soon. Get you back on a podcast. Enjoy the rest of the time in Seller Circle. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate it massively. Cheers. And yeah, Always. see you all soon. Yes. Yep. See ya. Bye. Bye. Nice. That was a banger. <laughs> <laughs>